it was, I think it was a sellout that day at Washington State because it was their homecoming. And, um, you know, it was just my moment that I've waited for all my life and that I've dreamed about. And it was finally there. And I walked, in, I walked into the huddle. I mean, it was, it was probably like the second series we were in, and it was like third and one. And um, we, all week long, we, you know, Coach Shaq had said, you know, just don't stretch it too much. Just get underneath it on short yardage. And, you know, I hiked the ball. And as we rolled out, I could just see the whole defense just over pursuit. And there was a hole just as big as even Charlie could have ran through it. <laughs> just mess with you. Yeah, and um, I just hit it and just seen the goal line. And I was like, I'm going to try to outrun everybody to this line because, you know, what a better way to start a college career off than with a run that long against uh, one of the best defenses in the Pac-10. I mean, I remember about the 10-yard line as I raised the ball up, I started screaming, and, you know, like, yeah, I score, I score. It sounded just like that real high pitch voice because I was so excited. And I mean, I, I, I think that's one memory that was good here at Oregon State that I'll never forget. When I uh, was late to a class one time because I couldn't find a parking spot, and uh, Coach Lewis was there to get run the Philomet. <laughs> when you talk to your friends at home about Door Patrol, you say, man, I had to run from one city to the next and back and then do some more. That's what Dawn Patrol was about. Television, want to go ahead and become one of those Hollywood mega stars and maybe produce a movie or have my own show. Y'all know that's messed up for bringing me up in all y'all conversations and stuff, but come on, really, why me? <laughs> Sometimes he's just crazy, just, just wacko. <laughs> You'd be like in the meeting and everybody else would be silent, you know. You think it, you got to be silent. The coach is going to say something, point something out. And there'd be a big hit or something and Mark would go, ooh, ah, hee hee, ha ha. And he'd just start laughing for no reason. We're all just, what is wrong with him? What's he doing? I think Mark is on the verge of, Mark is dangerous to me. He's normal, but he's on the point of being abnormal and insane so I mean, he's a dangerous man but I like him he he just expresses his weirdness about it and if you don't know Mark and if you saw him doing some of the things he's done you would think he's weird but he's Mark Oprah. I'm starting to cry. <laughs> He'd run around the, hall, the locker room naked and like hug people and then we had uh, but then he got paid back once by Jason Downs I think he was a senior offensive lineman and just big. <laughs> and he got naked and came up and just and just hugged Mark, paid him back for everybody he was at the tack and I don't I don't recall that ever happening. <laughs> Who is Jason Downs? <laughs> Every time I think of his name, I just think of him being naked. But it's not that I'm attracted to him or anything, it's just that we used to live together and you know he used to do stuff. <laughs> or I'd be watching TV or something. He, shoot across the TV naked, go and get a drink of water, come back and stand in front of the TV and just stare at me, you know, I'm like, man, get out the way. I, what do I look at you for? Move. <laughs> I mean, some, you just, sometimes you just see him on campus and you just look at the guy and you laugh. I mean, he's that kind of person. Well, I know we had many a good locker room shows, the Thursday night fights, all that good stuff. And I'm the undisputed champion of it, but what really brought a smile to your face about the Oregon State football program? The hotel experiences. I mean, that's, I think, when, the way most guys, and we all came together the most because we'd have time after our meetings to just go to each other's room and just hang out. And, you know, a lot of guys, we play cards, dominoes, Sega, and we have all walks of guys, you know, coming in and out of rooms, and it was just, you know, we couldn't do nothing else but be with each other, so we were, and we got, you know, to know each other on a different level, and it was, that's one thing we always, you know, we'd always talk about, them hotel, being in the hotel Friday nights.